Oh my goodness, you've got to see this Timu haul. I can't believe they sent me this. Is this really what I ordered? Come back and join me. Day. I am absolutely wonderful. They are calling for snow in Virginia. I got my snowman shirt on. I got my snowman earrings on. I am ready. Are you ready? Are you getting snow where you are? Have you gotten snow where you are? Well, today we have a team move haul. Oh my goodness, wait till you see this. I'm telling you, this is not what I ordered. This is not what I was expecting. Timu done pull one over on me this time. But if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. As you know, we have fun on this channel. Never a dull moment. There is always something exciting coming here. And in this haul, there is no change. Always something exciting. But I will tell you a few things about Timu. First of all, I won my fish game. Yay! So they're sending me my free items. So I have a new fish lane code. It will be linked at the bottom of this video. Farmland, I'm almost won. So, but it's the same code. So that's exciting. But now I know what you want. You want Timu Hawk. So get yourself something to drink, get yourself something to nibble on, sit down at that kitchen table, and let's have a chat about Timu. So, let me get my trusty little kitty paw. Let's get our blade, and let's get into it. Now, the first thing. Y'all all know how I am in the kitchen about scrub brushes and cleaners. I don't keep them long because I just don't think you get them clean. And I am a germ freak. And when I see cute little things, you know I got to get them. So, look at this. Little container. Got the drainage holes for the sponge. Little cactus. $2.78. Little cactus. You ready for this? Is that not adorable? Look at that. Look at that. Nice scrubby sponge. Nice. I mean, this is really nice. Nice and thick. Good quality. So you do your scrubbing. Good handle to hold on to. You put it in here to drain. And because the holes are in the bottom, it drains right in here. So I'm very, very pleased with this. In fact, this is one of the things I have to say came bigger than I thought from Timu. <laughs> I don't say that much, but I'm going to say it this way. See, I told you, always something exciting happened. <laughs> always something exciting. See, we weren't expecting that, were we? But isn't that cute? So, got me a new little scrubbing. And it looks cute sitting on the sink. Now... Like I said, that was two seventy eight. dollars Now, look at this little scrubbing. Oh, my goodness. Look at this one. Got a little, you're going to hear a lot of opening up today. A lot. Oh, this one's double packaged. You're going to hear a whole lot. Now, look at this. Tell me this is not going to look adorable sitting on your sink. If I can get it open. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you get something, you bought it, you paid for it, and you can't get it open, or you can't get the sticker off? Oh my goodness, I'm like, okay, I bought it, I paid for it, it's mine, <laughs> and I opened it. Look at this. Is that not too cute? No. Is that adorable? Isn't that adorable? Ready? 
nice. It's not too stiff, but it's not too soft. Look at that. Is that not too cute? Y'all know how I'm about my kitchen cleaning. And it came and comes in different colors. I just got this one. So, look at that sitting on your sink. Isn't that cute? This one was $2.20. $2.20. Nice scrub brush, plus you've got something that looks cute sitting on your sink. Loved it. Loved it. Now, we've got kitchen measurements. Now, I got this for my granddaughter. She has gotten into cooking like crazy, and I love it. She's 15, and she is just into cooking. This is a magnet. It was $2.19, but it has flour, sugar, butter, and it tells you the cups and the ounces, and the grams. Ooh, I got a glare. Sorry about that, y'all. But it goes through all the basic things. And then you have your liquids down here. So it goes through all, and there's the Fahrenheit and Celsius metric. So it takes you through the ounces, the cups, and the grams of all the basic cooking things. You know, it'd be a good idea for me to get one because I don't know grams. I wasn't brought up in the metric system. <laughs> I guess I'm showing my age, but I wasn't brought up in the metric system. Look at that. And like I said, it's a magnet. She can just stick it on the side of the refrigerator. Isn't that nice? That is so nice. So she's going to enjoy that. That's going to help her in cooking. You know, it's just little things that we don't think about. But when you're into a recipe or, or doing something, she Googles everything on her phone for recipes and stuff. But things like that are going to come in handy. Now, this little thing, for you, for you that have been following me on my journey, eggs. Eggs are a good source of protein and a good source for your journey. They're low in fat, low in carbs, and a good source of protein. Well, this little thing, egg slicer. Let me get all the different contraptions out. Now, there's your base. Now, you can cut, use this to cut the egg in half. You can use this to slice the egg. Or you can use this to cut the egg in six pieces. Just make your hard-boiled egg, stick it in here. I mean, if you want to make a salad and put the egg on it, cut it in slices. If you just want to cut it and have it for breakfast with just a little salt and pepper, just a little, and you cut it in half, little wedges. And this little egg slicer was $1.48. But, I mean, it's just so cute. And this is durable. I mean, it, it's very durable. So, I thought that was real cute. A lot easier than holding an oval egg and trying to cut it. You know, it's going to roll everywhere. At least it would on me. <laughs> You'd see me roll an egg across my counter. <laughs> and that's what I would do. Y'all know me. Now, these, and these are going to come in handy for those of you that have been following me. I've got a cake to make this weekend for my grandson's 18th birthday. These come in a pack of 50. They are wax paper cake tin liners. Because now that I'm on my healthy journey, I'm not using the cooking spray or the flour and butter method. Wax paper rounds just to put in the bottom of your cake pans. You can get them different sizes. I just got the 8-inch rounds because that's the most common that I use as 8-inch rounds. I'll be using four 8-inch rounds for his cake. Perfect. No stick. Easier cleanup. Pack of 50. $3.68. Easy cleanup. No stick. No butter. No spray. Saving calories. Saving fat. Great little deal. Great little deal. Very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Now this little thing. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I got this. And you know what I got it for and I was thinking about, well, here's another thing. 
you get it and they won't let you open it. <laughs> it's mine. Let me open it. <laughs> A little measuring cup. And thank you. Thank you so much for that. And thank you. My measuring cup. And got a little spout on it. This is 15 milliliters. It's got a little line on it for 15 milliliters. Now, this is the exact dose of 90% of your cough syrups and your cold medicines, 15 milliliters. I just thought, instead of them plastic cups that come on top of them things when you give them to the grandchildren and whatnot, just put it in this. It just makes it so much cuter for them. They got a little handle and you've got the measurements. And for younger children, for like the Tylenol and things like that, it's got the measurement on the bottom. But think about it, when you have to give them that medicine, even their amoxicillin, when it comes in prescription, you, you've got the lines to measure it. But it just makes it funner for kids, funner. Is funner a real word? Funner. Probably not, but sounds good to me. <laughs> Y'all know me, I'm nuts. So, little measuring cup, $1.98. Real sturdy plastic. I mean, it's you can't bend it. It's real sturdy. So, I thought that was cute. Now, this little thing here is really cute. You know when you've got coffee cups and you're, oh, I gotta put this one a little bit together. Hold on. When you've got a coffee cup and you want to put a top on it, if you're out in the deck to keep bugs out of it or just to keep dust or dirt from getting in it or to keep it warm. All right, so this, you've got a coffee top. Just put it on your cup to keep the bugs out, to keep dirt out, and to keep it warm. But check this out. See this little split in it? That little split is for a spoon. Now, y'all know me. I keep my cat cup up here, okay? Look how this is going to work, okay? There's my cat cup. So I'm going to put this over here. That's going to keep that warm and everything else. But my spoon is going to go right in there. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Ingenious. And that little thing was a dollar and four cents. And it come in different colors. I just got the blue because I have a blue cat cup. Now, the blue cat cup comes with a top with a hole for the spoon. But isn't this so much nicer? I love it. I love it. So I'm real pleased with this. Real pleased with that. Dollar and four cent. It's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> now, got a neat little thing. Oh, double wrapped again. Timu just does not want me to open these things today. <laughs> Or either they know that trash day is coming up. <laughs> and my husband will be going to the dump. <laughs> they just going to make more trash for him. Alright, let me slide this little thing in here. Let me slide this little thing in here. Hold on. Whoops. Alright, whoops. Okay. One more time. Let me slide this little thing in here. Okay. This nice size. Let me look. Nice size. It's set on the side of your sink. It's got the spout that goes in the sink. You've got the strainer here. Rinse out your vegetables, cut your things, whatnot. Liquid could go in here. And it's just $2.24. Nice, sturdy plastic. Just something small for real quick. And like I said, set it on the side and just let it strain into the sink when you're doing stuff. Real cute. Real practical. And I like things that are small because you can use them easily, quick and easy to get to them and use them and whatnot. So I'm real pleased with that. Now, we're going to talk about stuff for this weekend and making the cake. Woo! Because I need tools because I had told you that I'm going to be making his cake with fondant. So, I had to get a new fondant smoother. And this little fondant smoother was a dollar and four cent. 
and of course I have to put it together. So let's see what we got here. It should just snap in. It should just snap in. Okay. Didn't I say it should just snap in? This might be a husband job. Oh, they, well, one end snapped. I don't know if I snap in the other end. Nope, this is a husband job. All right, this is a fondant smoother. It's made as a paddle to smooth the top and the bottom. And this is the handle that's supposed to snap in here. But right now it's not cooperating. I can't, I can snap it in the bottom here, but it, I can't, I don't have enough force with my hand strength with my arthritis to snap it in the top. But it's just a straight paddle you use to smooth the fondant. And I'm hoping to be able to make a video of that to show you. And that was a dollar four. Now, when you're using fondant, you have to be able to cut it and you don't want to use a knife because you can't get the precision because the cake I'm going to make is four tiers and it's round. So, you need round rollers. And that's what these are. A set of four and dollar forty-eight, and they just round rollers. And you'll just roll it around the base of the cake and whatnot where you want to cut it. And it makes it so much easier when you're doing a round cake or when you happen to cut out fondant. Now I told you with this one, we're gonna cover the whole cake and fondant, and then I'm gonna cut out panna keys to put out round the base of it. So gotta have these. They're a must. A must, a must, a must. And because it's music, I got some stamps for the fondant. Got a whole bag. Whoops, let me turn this way. A whole bag of music note stamps. And you got your little handle. You see that little handle there? So you just stamp out the music notes and the fondant. And then I would use the rollers to smooth any edges or anything. Isn't that cute? Let's see what else we got. All kinds of little music notes. So, if you have somebody that enjoys music, this would be the perfect little thing for them. And those are $2.24. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you for cakes is good for buttercream icing, meringue icing, and fondant. This is a marker. This was $2.69. And of course, it's double wrapped. <laughs> Everything's double wrapped today. Everything's double wrapped today. They just don't want me to get into it. They just don't want me to get into it. Now this is a unique contraption. Okay, and this, what you do, you measure your cake. When you do drips, drops, loops, you put this in here, and this in here. You can do any size, any measurements you want. And then you use this to mark the cake. So like when you have the loops going down the side, of the cake, picture of the cake now. And you know a round cake when you have the loops going around the bottom from the top going down, just the loops. This will mark them. So you don't have to worry about straight lines. You don't have to worry about measuring them. You just use this and it has little, you can see the little teeny blades here. So that will mark your cake all the way around. So then you just pipe it and it's, it piped the marks on there. So you have even marks all the way around the cake. I'm gonna use this to mark all the way around the cake so I'll know what size and where to put the piano keys. So that's gonna be real cute. And that was $2.69. So those are the tools I'm gonna use to help me with the cake this weekend. Now, we're gonna get into some interesting things. And we're gonna get into some things that did I really order this? Was this what the ad said? Was this what I was expecting? We got some trippy things coming. We got some trippy things coming. Now, 
this first thing I got because I have a small compact umbrella that will fold up to about this size. You know, you've seen those. You've got those. So, I got this umbrella bag. Nice little polyurethane thick bag with the drawstring. But this is an umbrella bag. 97 cent. It's real strong. That way, when you fold up your umbrella, when you're going into a store or going into work or something like that, you don't have a wet, drippy umbrella. You don't have to shove it in your purse or shove it in your pocket or carry it dripping in the elevator or things like that. Just put it in a little bag. Just put it in a little bag. So I was, I like that a lot. And I have ordered a couple of these because I'm going to give it to the grandchildren because they use umbrellas at the bus stop. And when they get on the bus, drippy umbrella. You know, and they got to carry it in their laps and stuff. So this is very practical. Umbrella bag. So I like that a lot. Now, this I got to go on my walker. But this will go on strollers, wheelchairs, anything that has a handle. This is a drink holder. But I'm not sure how it's going to hold a drink. How strong it's going to be. This was $4.28. It's a drink holder. Now, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Now, you've got a clamp here. And this clamp is what will hold on to any round surface. But, I mean, you've got to really open it up wide, which it will, to clip on. Okay. Now, y'all know I've got my, if you've been following my journey, my Mountain Dew that I've been holding on to forever since I started this journey. That I will not open because it's 240 calories. <laughs> I've been drinking my Crystal Light. But if I wanted to take this with me, I can't. In the description, it said drink holder, so... That's awful big. So I'm not sure what kind of drinks because I use a lot with the water bottle. This will not work with the water bottle. So, I mean, it will probably work with the metal cups, the dupes, if you know what I mean. But I was expecting something that would work with the water bottle. So this I'm very disappointed in. Like I said, if I want to get my big metal cup dupe out and fill it up with crystal light, you know, and ice cubes, it'll probably work. But I was looking for something for a water bottle that would clip onto my walker. So this disappoints me. That disappoints me. So now this is something I got from my husband. You know, if you follow my channel that we do... RC boats and race them. Well, he's always into little things and tinkering and getting inside the boat and I'm holding the flashlight and you know what not. These are little glove-like contraptions that have flashlights on them. <laughs> okay, they're not gloves. Uh, wheel? All right, let's see how these things work. Because I don't know how they're going to work. That Velcro is there. Okay. Let's try this. Put this in the pinky and this in the index finger. And I don't know what this goes around. All right. One off. Okay, whoops. Sorry about that. I hope I didn't hurt anybody's eyes. So do side. All right, well. Index finger and pinky. And it has a light. That might help him a little bit. Let's see if this one works. These little gloves were $4.48. But they were supposed to be gloves. But that's not a glove. Yeah, that works too. So, we will see what he thinks of these. I, 
I, I wish they were gloves. They were advertised as gloves. They're not gloves. So, another disappointment from Team Boo. All right, this is another little thing for hubby to help him work on the boats. This is a flexible screwdriver. Because sometimes the little nuts and bolts are in there, but they're at an angle, so you can't use a straight screwdriver. Now, it's got a good handle, good grip and handle. Any socket, little socket they use will fit in here. And it's flexible. So, I like this. This I like. He can probably use this. So, this is good. And this was $6.48. So, but I'm happy with this. I think he'll like this. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll like this. Okay, six dollars and forty-eight cent. Wobble wobble wobble. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you took the pencils and you did like this and it looked like the pencil was made out of rubber and wobbles? <laughs> oh boy, I'm regressing. <coughs> I'm regressing. <laughs> All right, this looked like another disappointment. This is supposed to go over your mind. Um, the, I guess like the Swifter is what I was thinking to go over that. This is not going over my Swifter. My Swifter's bigger than this. Yes, it has elastic, but it's not going over my Swifter. And this little dust cover was $1.48. Yeah, that's not going to stretch and go over my Swifter. So, has another thing that wasn't what the ad said. I mean, it's nice terry cloth. You can see through it, though. It's pretty thin. But, yeah. That's not going to stretch over my Swifter. Not going to happen. So, disappointed in that. <laughs> We're not doing too good today, are we? Alright, this next little thing was a dollar and one cent. Now, I got this because they just put new pipes in, water pipes in for our house. We are not on a well anymore. We are on pipes, water pipes. So, we are not on a well. So, I got these little pH test strips. Now, these can be used for anything from an aquarium to drinking water to, to anything. So, these little strips comes with two coups of them because you see the strips are just this. This size. And there's tons of them. And then it gives you the chart to measure the pH. So, I want to see this new company with water from a pipe <laughs> and a water company, how good their water is. So, it says soak a test strip in the test solution for a half a second and compare it with the standard color. Shelf life, three years. So, I want to see how good they are. So, dollar and one cent test strip. Now, oh, this next thing blows my mind. I'm telling you. Blows my mind. These were uh, let's see. $3.14. Now we're going to read the directions on this. Alright. Lift the lid of the water tank of the toilet and place the magnetic toilet cleaners as shown. Okay, magnetic toilet cleaners. Magnets, they're magnets. Magnetic toilet cleaners. The cleaner can be used indefinitely, but should be rinsed monthly in warm water and wiped with a clean paper towel to remove buildup. Cleaner can also be used in humidifiers. These little magnets are supposed to clean your commode. You put them in the back of the tank. I have no idea how they work. Never heard of such. 
but we're going to try them. We're going to see. Magnets to clean your commode. Magnetic toilet cleaner. Have you ever? So, we're going to see. Now, this next thing. Oh, my gosh. If you have a cat, this is a deal. This is a deal. $7.21. And in this box are 30 treats. 30 treats. But they're not ordinary treats. Let's open this bad boy up and let me show you. $7.29. Remember that if you have a cat. Because my cat goes crazy. But I'm going to tell you, both my cats love these things. But I spend a lot more than $7.21. And especially on 30 My goodness gracious. You ready? And these are salmon. Salmon. Yes. The sticks. The lick sticks. 30 of these in salmon flavor. $7.21. Timu is now carrying these cat treats. $7.21 for 30. If you have a cat, jump on it. So, I am very excited to give these to Cookie and Domino. Look at this. Move this box up. Nope. <laughs> box is too full. It's falling over. Look at this. Can you believe that? I am tickled pink. I am tickled pink. Tickled pink. You know how much money that's going to save me? Now, these next two little items are repeat buy. These are the little sticky catnip balls. We put one up in the bathroom and one outside on the deck. And all they are... One's not hooked up. That one wasn't hooked up. That one caught me off guard. I'm awake. I'm awake. Let's see if I can get it in there. Yes, I'm officially awake. <laughs> not that I wasn't already. But I'm officially awake. Okay. Well, that one broke. That's a Timu. That's a Timu. Let's see if this one's broke. No, this one's... This one's not fixed either. Oh, see? Where the tube is, it's supposed to be in there. It's not in there. Yeah, these are these are duds. These are probably going to go back with the refund request. Unless this one snaps in easy. Yep. Yeah. Usually they're in. Okay, this one snapped in easy. Okay. It's got an adhesive back on it. And it's just a catnip ball. And they lick it and it spins. And this was $2.98. So yeah, team is going to get a, a message about that. Now, listen. For those of you on the journey, and those of you that watch my channel, know I have a bad back and I had major reconstructive surgery and a bunch of hardware put in my back last March. Well, I was talking to my therapist and she said that sleeping with the pillow between your legs is good, which I've been sleeping with the body pillow. Well, she says now that I have progressed, I don't need the body pillow. She suggested one of the pillows that you put between your knees. Guess what? Timu has it. Check this thing out. And it looks really nice. Told you a lot of noise. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's memory foam. Look at this. It's memory foam. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. Blow my mind. 
Look, it's got a zipper cover that you can take off and wash. Oh my goodness. And this little pillow was only $5.08. Do you know if I would have bought it through my therapist what it would have cost? Because insurance wasn't going to pay for this. Look at that. But you just sleep with it between your knees. And it helps align your back. When you're lying on your side now. This has to be lying on your side. $5.08. Memory foam. Remove the cover to wash it. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm excited about tonight. Oh, this is nice. So if you've got a bad back, think about it. Think about it. I think it's going to work. Now, this little thing. This is a repeat buy. Now, I get Yankee Candles. I love Yankee Candles. I'm a spoiled brat. Got to have Yankee Candles. I am spoiled. I admit it. But I don't burn my candles. I I just don't like candles. If I, I have a candle lit, it's an um, electric one with the flickering flame and batteries and a remote. But I love Yankee Candles. Now, how do I burn them? A warmer. A coffee cup warmer. This is how I burn my candles. Efficient. Puts off more of a smell than burning them with the wick and a flame. Warmer. And this little warmer was $4.54. So this is a new warmer that I'm going to put in the den. I'm telling you, a warmer with your candle and you don't have to worry about a flame. You, it's not a fire hazard. A little coffee pot warmer for your candles. And it'll fit any size candle from small to large. $4.54. They're great. They work great. They work great. Now, let's get into some fun stuff. Got this from a grand. From a grand's. And this is another disappointment. You know, when you look on the ad... And they make things look so big. Well, this didn't have a measurement on it. I went back and looked on the ad. It did not have a measurement. Most things have a measurement. This one did not. So I said, okay, cool. This is a flashing memory game. And it needs batteries. I don't know what kind. I'll have to buy them. But this is a flashing memory game. Now, this memory game was $2.65. But I thought it was going to be bigger. So I thought the kids could play it, right? Are you ready for this? That's the game. I can barely use my fingers to touch the buttons. And with nails, forget it. I'm going to hit the wrong button. Yeah. So I'm very disappointed in this. Very, very, very. I thought it was bigger. Like I said, with nails, you hit the, you go hit something. It, it, it just, and the buttons are, I mean, not happy. Not happy. $2.65. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What can you say? Now, this I got from my granddaughter. Y'all know my granddaughter loves SpongeBob. So these popped up. They're little magnets. Let's see if I can get them out. And they're little. <laughs> Again, they're little. You get five of them. I thought it was six, but you get five. You ready for this? SpongeBob magnets. <laughs> you see how tiny those things are? So, but she'll enjoy them. She'll enjoy them. So much for using them to put something on the fridge. <laughs> I don't think they'd hold up a piece of paper. They're so tiny. That's all five of them. 
but they're cute. They're cute. And those were $1.99. Now, yeah, here's another disappointment. Got a makeup brush. It looks so big and pretty. And again, this is another thing that didn't have a measurement. And I said, okay, cool. It looks pretty. Let's get a makeup brush. Look like a colorful rose. It's about maybe six inches if you count the brush. I mean, it's very soft. It's pretty, but a little little. Dollar eighteen. So, I guess that could be a finishing brush. You know, once you do your makeup to make sure you got everything off. But yeah. So, <laughs> let me move this stuff over here. All right. Now, this next item is some lip balm, which I have tons of lip balm, but I couldn't resist this. Look at this. It's a kitty cat. Isn't that cute? It's a kitty cat. Just clear lip balm. No smell. But it's a kitty cat. And that kitty cat was $2.24. So it's expensive lip balm, but it's so cute. It's just so cute. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Now. Oh, <laughs> had to get this. First time I saw it. Botox. Botox in a box. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Botox in a box. And this Botox in a box was $3.99. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, fancy dancy. Okay. So we've got a little pump. see how this Botox in a box feels. No smell. Okay. Either my hand was not dry. It took a while to soak in. Yeah, no smell. And it's tacky, so it's it's doing its moisturizing thing. So, for all skin types, even skin tone, reduce wrinkles, moisturize the skin, maintain skin health. Botox in too. Be nice if I could get rid of these wrinkles. What are they? Crow's feet. <laughs> get rid of my crow's feet. I got a murder, attempted murder on my face. Remember? A murder is two crows. Attempted murder is two crows because murder is a flock of crows. So I have attempted murder on two crows. <laughs> That's funny. Still getting over that pneumonia. I got bronchitis now. All right. And this is, I'm trying to think which one with this one. Uh, pretty case. Isn't that pretty? Just an old fashioned tin. $2.48. It's just lotion. It's supposed to be smelling sweet, so let's see what it smells like. Oh boy, you know the top's going to be full of lotion. Slide it off. Smells like honeysuckle. It does. It smells like honeysuckle. Let's try it on the sand. Oh, I like the feel of it. It's not greasy. Yeah, it smells like honeysuckle. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That's cool. $2.48. 
I like it that little tent. What if I should put this? I may put this in my purse and take that coffee. I've got the coffee lotion in my purse now. I may take the coffee out and put this in. I like the smell. Just a faint honeysuckle. And it's not greasy. Oh, it's already soaked up. See, this hand must be really dry. I mean, this is soaked up now and smooth. This feels really good. Feels really good. Now, I got some sub foundation. For those of you that watch my, watched my Get Ready With Me, know I love my BB foundation. That's the best foundation you can get. $1.98. And I use the color 2. That's my color, too. Best foundation, in my opinion. Now, this little thing is new. Hadn't seen that before. But again, when you got somebody, and they're standing there, and they've got the object that you're going to buy, and the object looks a lot bigger they're either miniature, because I don't see how the camera angle can be to make those objects look so much bigger. So again, this is a miniature of what I thought it was going to be. And when you get into the cosmetics and you get into the cleaning things, and they don't give you dimensions. But I'm telling you, this thing looked a lot bigger. This is a shower sponge. It's $1.34. Nice, soft. I mean, it's very soft. A little rubber in the middle. But back here, it has a little suction cup. And what it's made for is to suction this to your shower wall. And then you can back up to it to wash your back. It's a great idea. But <laughs> it's tiny. It's tiny. I'm telling you, in that picture, it was so much bigger. She was washing a quarter of her back with it. So, I, I don't know. She didn't look like a child. <laughs> she must have been just really, really petite. Yeah. But you s use the suction to the shower wall and back up to it just to wash your back. It's a great idea. It's just very, very small. $1.34. Now, this is an exfoliating glove. It was 95 cents. So I'm curious to see the texture. Okay. Let's see if we can put this on. How do we put this on? I guess like this. I don't know. It's got two holes. I just put it on like a mitten. That's a little rough, but you need something a little rough if you're going to exfoliate. Now, this would work good with bath salts. This would work really good with bath salts. And you know, as well as I do, it's winter time. We probably all need to exfoliate our legs. <laughs> I know I do. I don't pay much attention to my legs in winter time. I'm so bad. I really am. I I'm bad. I'm bad. But it's real, it's it's nice. I mean, it's soft enough. I mean, it's not stiff. It's nothing. It's nice. It'd be a nice exfoliator. But I think this would work really good with bath salts. Really good with bath salts. And did I tell you that was 95 cents? Now, I've got some jewelry. Now, we're going to review this jewelry. We're going to review this jewelry. Now, the first thing I have... That doesn't want to open. <laughs> what is it with me and things not opening today? I don't know. I just don't know. You know, you get things and they look so much better on the model. <laughs> it gives you a self-esteem issue. <laughs> Gold bracelet. Just a cuff bracelet. I mean, it's a nice little bracelet. Fits well. Not tight. Very comfortable. I just thought it'd be something different. I don't have one. And I thought it'd be cute. 
so I like it. And that bracelet was $2.48, so I, I'm happy with that bracelet. I like that bracelet. I like the bracelet a lot. Now, got this. Got this. Let me get my little ring stand down for you. This is a kitty cat ring. But what's unique, and I'll try to show it to you. A little kitty cat ring. And pause. But what is unique about this, I, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. Can you see the inside? See the paws? Prints on the inside? It leaves paw prints on your finger. It leaves paw prints on your finger. It's really cute. And that little kitty cat ring was $1.48. Now here's a cute little necklace I got from my granddaughter. And let me get my necklace stand. You know I bought you a necklace stand to show. And also, I bought a new stand I'm waiting for it to come for the earrings so I can show you the earrings better. <sighs> I hate when they do this. I really do. I really, really do. They didn't used to do it. Now they do it on all of them. I mean, I guess it's cheaper labor not to have to put the charm on the necklace, but it causes issues. Causes issues. But, like I said, I guess it's more cost-effective not to have to do it. So. Cute little necklace. A little butterfly. A little butterfly. But look, the butterfly opens up. And look what it says. I love you. Isn't that cute? So I got that from my grandbaby. I got that from my grandbaby. And what else did I get? I got all kinds of goodies. Look at this. You're going to love this. I can get it open. I think this is a double packer. <laughs> oh, that necklace was 98 cents. I'm sorry. I did not tell you that, did I? Necklace was 98 cents. Real cute. Real cute. Get my trash off the table here. Put it in my trash bag. All right. Got a little bunny rabbit pin. And let me tell you, she is glamorous. Look at her bling. Look at her bling. Bling, bling, bling. Look at her. Is she not cute? She's not cute, isn't she? I thought she was adorable. And that little pen was $3.47. I just thought she was so cute. Had to get her. Had to get her. Now I've got some beautiful dragonfly earrings. And these dragonfly earrings were $1.19. Look at those. Aren't those pretty? Look at that iridescent blue behind them. Aren't those pretty? Beautiful. Beautiful. So I got those. $1.19. And then I got... Y'all know I have a problem with jewelry. You know I had to order another jewelry holder, right? <laughs> I did. I did. Now these are wings. Angel wings. These are real cute. These were $1.98. Yeah, I had to order a new jewelry holder. I'm on my fourth one. Will it be my fourth one when it comes? Look at the angel wings. Aren't those pretty? Aren't those pretty? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
And these are just a fun pair. These were $1.48. Just little paws, little pet paws, little puppy paws, kitty paws, whatever paws, whatever paws you have, kitty paws, puppy paws. Now these, I'm disappointed in because these do not look like the picture and I'm not happy with them because they look cheap, very cheap. They are $1.98. There they are. But look. Just hollowed out. They're just yuck. I'm not happy with them. $1.98. Yeah, not happy with those. Not happy with those. Usually I'm really, really happy with what I get from Timu, but this haul has disappointed me. Now these are two little rings I got from a granddaughter. They came two in a set. I'm gonna put them on here so you can see them. One has a single heart and one is a band with multiple hearts. Oops, I put that one upside down, or did I? No, I didn't upside down. Some hearts are upside down. And that little heart rings 47 cent. 47 cents. I mean, how can you go wrong with 47 cents? So, they're cute. So, well, that is my haul for today. I'm sorry it was disappointing. Some of the items were not what I thought. Not what I ordered. But it was still interesting. And we had some fun items. And I know we had some items that you're going to put in your cart and you're going to get. Because, especially that knee pillow. And those cute little scrub brushes, the cactus and the sunflower. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and my husband's going to enjoy his screwdriver that's flexible. And we'll see what he thinks of the gloves. And I'm excited about the Botox to get rid of my crow's feet. <laughs> well, I had fun. I hope you had fun. And there's more to come on this channel. It's always fun. But remember what I say. The most important thing is to have a blessed day. And Genesis 31, 49, the Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent from one another. <laughs>